Hi guys, White Witch 110 here. Thought I'd give you a little peek at some of the snapdragons there while I'm reading the story this evening. I got a nice two gallon watering can today at our Canadian Tire, so I don't have to keep going in and out of the apartment to make sure that all the plants out here get a good saturation of water. So anyways, on with the story. We left it that Sage's cousin, Neil, was trying to get Abigail convinced to sing. Abigail went off to the office, so she didn't have to deal with Neil. She had to stop to make it the mall before going into the office. Hey, Abby, great to see you. Mel gave her a hug. Good to see you, she paused. I seen Scott today. How did you feel? Bad. He was at the mall. Did he see you? Mel asked. I don't think so. Abigail took a deep breath. You feel guilty about him being alone? I know he's not alone. I know he's with Deb. But you're picturing him alone. Abby... I think you're still madly in love with him. Mel threw up his hands. I understand you love Sage, but Scott is still there. You've only pushed him to the back. Can I be honest? Mel treaded lightly. Yes. As much as you're content, I believe you need to be with Scott. You can't deny there is a bond. You can't break it. Your relationship will always bring you back together. I really like Sage. I think the two of you are amazing. But Scott is always there. I'm sure Sage feels it. I wouldn't be surprised if he competes with those memories. Abby, you made the decision to marry Sage. Though your mind is with Scott. You're telling me three of us are in this marriage you don't believe it will last the friends were deep in conversation not so bluntly i truly hope it can last i would never tell you to make an actual choice but you need to this isn't fair on either of them mel continued and what if i wasn't able to do to do that do I give up one man I love and marry, and I'm married to and stay alone? Are you saying I should be alone? No. I never want to see you alone. This is such a difficult situation. I never pictured this in a million years. Why couldn't you and Scott just get along and work it out? Because what we do best is tear each other apart. My head spins when I think about this. I feel like I'm cheating, but I'm not. Abigail was beside herself. What should I do? Sweetie, I can't tell you. I only know where I've seen your heart for the past 30 years. You believe what I feel for Sage isn't real? She asked. I didn't say that. He took her hands. I know you love them both very much. I would almost hazard saying equally. That's why you have this horrible struggle inside. You know, honestly, you can't be with one and not the other. You'll only be happy with both of them in your life. I don't understand how that would work. Promise me this conversation is between us. No one else is to know. This is much too private. Abigail, the only way anyone will know is if they're eavesdropping. Mel was never going to tell either man. Though he couldn't imagine how they would respond. Abby, love on Sage, just like you are. Things will play out as they are meant to be. Whatever happens, 
I'll be there for you. The best friends hugged. You're the brother I never had. I've never felt closer to someone as I do to you. I'm honored. I feel the same way, though I have two sisters. I believe everything we've been through was meant to happen. Our paths had to cross. No one else could understand our emotions. Love you, sister. He smiled. Love you, too. There was a knock at the door. Can I get in on this? It was Sage. After all, she is my wife. Sorry, Sage. This is BFFs only. He gave Abigail a look that said everything. No more was said. Abigail hugged Sage much tighter. She didn't want to lose him. On their way home, Sage inquired as to their conversation. It's between Mel and I. I promised I wouldn't tell anyone, even you. Her response led Sage to believe Mel had been opening up to her. Niels found a place, Sage informed her. Really? That was fast. My cousin isn't one to drag his feet. He decided early this morning and went out looking. He's renting a small house downtown. He's planning on renting the place out. And I'm doing the same thing. It's good to have extra cash. He, al he also still believes you should be singing. I don't want it. I thought I made that clear. You did, but he sees your talent. I appreciate his interest. I really do, she said. Sage smiled as they drove up to the house. Neil was on the deck. I'll be moving out on Friday. Everything is arranged at home. I can't believe you're doing this, Abigail told him. I expect you guys to visit. I was thinking you'd, m I didn't think you'd move this fast. Abigail told Neil, you guys need your privacy. I know Sage likes to be in his underwear. That's something I don't need to see. Neil laughed. Hey, I bought a new one, special for you, Sage choked. I was lucky. The guy moved out a week ago. He was hoping for a sale, Neil explained. I'm happy for you, Abigail sat on the outdoor sofa. This place isn't far from the recording studio. Neil, please, I don't want to sing. Just humor me this once, please. Let me think on it. Now don't bother me, all right? She said. You got it, he agreed. The songs she recently found online, she enjoyed singing. And did it often. But it was only for fun. Later that evening, an idea came to her. Neil... I've been seriously thinking. Abigail approached him on Sage. I'll agree to sing. You sure, babe? Sage asked. Yeah. I'm in control of the songs. Neil agreed at once. He wanted her voice out there. YouTube would start things off. What songs first? Neil inquired. Hanging Tree. I hum that song all the time. I know the words. I'm very comfortable singing it. You can use my editing space. We can mock up a studio there, Sage offered. Neil left for his new place that night. The following two days, Sage and Neil made sure to get, to get it all ready. A couple of lights and her own mic, plus a green screen. Neil was impressed with their work. Together, they chose a forest background with a prominent tree with thick limbs. Abigail was amazed at the response. She never imagined the views of the video and what it received. Told you, was all Neil said. Sage was surprised, although he knew she had talent. 
Do you understand now why I'm pushing you? Abigail, you must show your voice. She may as she may as well give in. All right. Make arrangements and I'll give it a go. Nothing ventured, right? Neil was extremely content. Sage supported Abby, but he honestly worried where it would lead. There was another worry. If Abigail became popular, Scott may begin sniffing around. Scott's last song had quickly climbed the charts. He said, among all the songs I've written, this means the most to me. It's extremely personal. Abigail took a leave of absence from the mansion. Mel was excited. Oh my, I'm besties with a star. Don't go nuts. Nothing has been done yet. I'm nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. You'll be fabulous. Have you seen the numbers on your video? They are through the roof. Some comments are attacks against you because of your past with Scott. Mel thought for a moment. How do you think he'll react? I'm not sure. Hopefully he'll be happy, Abigail said thoughtfully. He may want a duet, would you? Mel asked. I need to consider Sage. I don't believe he'd be very comfortable. She felt it. The movement of emotion swaying. Abby knew the danger. Neil had booked two days to begin with. Sage made sure to be there. Abigail stood behind the microphone. Neil gave a nod and her voice busted out from the core. The process was more difficult than she imagined. Totally different experience now that she was behind the mic. Scott made a stop at the studio to sign papers. Joe had convinced him to buy it. To buy it now because it was on sale. Because it was for sale. It meant extra income, which was always welcomed. Hi, Taylor. Anything happening today? He inquired of the young receptionist. Your ex is here recording in Studio 4. Really? Scott was surprised. Do you want me to call... Do you want me to call in and tell her you're here? No, that's fine. He left for the office at the end of the hall. Well, this baby is all yours, the former owner said. Thanks, Jim. Here is your seat. Here, this is your seat now. He lifted from the chair. Scott sat down. It felt good, but this wasn't the type of work that he enjoyed. He'd need someone to manage the site. His place was on the road. Jim once again wished him well, then left. Guys, can I take a break? I need to use the bathroom. Sure, Neil answered. As Abigail made her way down the hall, Scott came out of the office. He knew that walk. He'd enjoyed it many times. He smiled with the memory. He was about to call, then stopped. Abigail felt someone watching her. Looking behind, there was no one there. Scott quickly but gently closed the door. He had jumped into the office. Back in the studio, she asked, Is this place haunted? Where did that come from? Sage asked. I felt like someone was watching me. When I looked back, no one was there. Scott peeked into the hall, the coast was clear. He made his way to the entrance. Mr. Wilson, did you want me to mention you were here? Taylor asked. No, she doesn't need to know. And he left the building. I think we shall leave it there. Or maybe I could read a bit more. Oh, maybe I'll read a bit more. I want a duo with Sage, Abigail said to Neil. What song? Thirsty, she replied. Sage had heard her sing this song many times over the past month. Neil took a quick look at his watch. We have time if you'd like to try. 
Abigail said okay. They stood facing each other as they began, emotion from within poured out. By the end of the song, they were embracing and Sage gave her neck a kiss. In one take, I can't believe it. That was out of this world. Neil was in ecstasy. We have another winner here. I want a video to go with this. Neil had it all planned out in his head. Both of you in black, Abigail, Victorian dress, sage, men's attire from that period. A cemetery among the graves. His vision would work well for the song. Later that evening, when everyone was gone, Scott went to the studio. This is all mine. He said out loud, locking the door behind him. He made his way to Studio 4. He didn't bother to turn the lights on. The emergency one was enough. He stood behind the microphone, imagining Abigail there. That sweet voice and disposition. Scott made his way to the mixing board. He stared out at where he had just stood. The door opened to a gentleman with a cleaning cart. Scott shifted in his seat and cleared his throat. Mr. Wilson, the man was surprised. What are you doing here? Hi, Paul. Just looking over what I've bought. How are you? Doing well, sir. Doing well. I heard you're the new boss. How you doing? The man rested on his broom handle. I'm doing fine. Better now that I know you're still here. Sir, I'll be here till the moment the good Lord takes me, the gentleman told him. Then you'll be here for a long time. Scott smiled, feeling a warmth inside. Well, I'll leave you to dreaming. By the way, if you don't mind, I think you should be together. He knew who he was thinking of. Thank you, Paul. The cleaner left Scott to himself. The place really needed to be renovated. Morning sunshine bathed the cinder block building with warmth and promised Scott and promised Scott was stretched out when they came in. Scott? Abigail moved closer and shook his arm. Scott! What are you doing here? That's where we'll leave it. See how he's going to get out and explain that one. Yeah, maybe he'll just tell the truth. Anyways, it was a beautiful day here. A little bit cloudy in the afternoon, but not too bad. We didn't get the rain yesterday. We just got cloud. Uh, we've been basically staying home. Just went to, as I said, to Canadian Tire to get some things. We're basically doing stuff around the apartment because it gets neglected with us working. We work, we come home, we eat, and the next thing you know, we're asleep. So, we figure this weekend, three days, we'll do some stuff around here. Get things more to how we actually want it. Want it. I hope everyone's had a good Saturday. And I know Monday is the 4th, so I'm hoping that my American subscribers, my American friends, are enjoying their long weekend as much as we are ours, although tomorrow is Sunday. Ugh, seems it went so quickly this long weekend, but we have another one coming up next month, so that's a good thing. But anyways... So I hope you all enjoyed this part of the story. And hopefully I'll get back to reading the next part tomorrow. Thank you for coming by. Greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos. There may be something else there that interests you more. Maybe another story, maybe some crafting I did or maybe showing you some type of sites or taking you on the bus with me. But do check them out. And if you find something you're interested in, please give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. 
and share it out if you think someone else would be interested. I do have a few ideas for crafting, but I have to clean off my craft bench again. And I've got to get the stuff together. And then once I've done that, then I'll be able to do a couple of crafting videos for you. But until then, thank you to my YouTube family for coming by. And as I said, if you're new and you're interested, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know the next time that I upload. And until the next time, ciao for now.